Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to work with the with the rest of the authentication system. Um, so far, we have the login and the registration. It's working pretty great, but we need to create a way for the users to change the password or like reset it when they are when they are logging or just they just forgot. Um, I don't know. In this video, we're going to work with that. Um, the first thing that we need to do, we need to go to um, our authentication app and then like forms and then here let's create a new form class let's call it change password form oops forms.model form yeah do it in here it from here and then we just start creating the fields we will need the ID because we need to identify the user that, that we are changing the password, right? And then just this one, uh, let's just use the, the we get uh, hidden because actually, because we don't want to, I mean like, we don't need to show the, the that input in the form. Okay, um, now, all password. Oop, what? Forms. Maybe a short field. And then we get um, forms. There will be a password input, right? Let's just copy this. Boom. And then they just uh, put a label um, all password of course let's make that require just true um, let's just copy this and then new password okay from your field let's change this new password we are requesting the old password because we this one will be for the people that they are already logging in the in the website but they just want to change their password right we need to make sure that that no like someone just like uh saw this account open and just change the password okay um and then we need to confirm the password yeah just basically the same thing up there just copy this. Confirm the new. Confirm new password. I don't know. Yes. Um. Okay. We have the fields. Let's just create a a meta class. Oops. Just create a meta class. With the model user and the fields, we want the I don't know whatever. Um, we want the model ID, the field ID, the old password, the, the new password, and then confirm. So I'm using a dictionary here. You can use uh, you can use an array, it's fine. Um, and then now we need to override uh, this form that we did here to um, to make the I mean like the proper validations and stuff. Um, yeah, let's just yeah override the clean function. Pass, uh, oops, change password form, self, clean. and then we want the ID, get ID, 
the old paths were. Let's copy this for the new password. Confirm password. Good. Um, now let's get the user. User, let's create a variable that will hold just the user object. Get. And then we are we are we are getting the user with this ID. This ID. That's how we're looking for the user. Um, and the first thing that we need to do, we need to check um, that the old password, it's accurate, right? And we just do that with, if not user, that um, there is a function for that. Check password. Um, and then we just pass the, this is the variable, old password. Okay, if it's if this is not true, let's just uh, just like we did here, like a, the errors, errors. Oops. All. All. I mean, just put all passwords. Right? All password. And then self error class pa oops just put like all password is all, all password do not match please log out hacker <laughs> Um, yeah, and then like, um, yeah, and if the new password, um, if the new password and new password, it's different. Oops, new password, it's different from confirm password. Let's just throw the error. Just copy this. I'm a little lazy. Um, new password. Passwords do not match. Yep, and yep. Um, yeah, so if this is true, let's just return. I mean, if this pass all of this validation, just return the clean data. Great. Um, yeah, we need we did our validation here. Okay, um, now let's just create a template, a template for this form. Let's just go um, here and like templates. And then here we can just create a new file. Um, this file, I will name it, um, I don't know, change password. Boom, here we go. Um, let's copy all of this one, all of these from the sign up, just paste it here. And then we need to just, uh, start erasing the things that we don't need. For example, like, let's change this. Um, change password. Okay. 
say this one. We don't need this username. We don't need the email. We need the password, but this one, let's, if this one is actually all password, remember. And then here, old password and old password. Actually, we have a, we created the label in the, in the form file. It's fine, just, it's okay. And then you just copy this. Just copy this. Because this is the old password. This one is the new password. New password, and this one will be the confirmed pass password. Okay, um, yep, I think that we have everything. Um, oh, actually, we're, we're missing something. Um, we need to get the the ID. Let's just put it. I don't know. Um, oops. Just copy this and just copy this one. Form ID. Good. Um, yep. I think that we have everything. Let me just change this one. Oops. Change password. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that we have our form. Um, now let's go to our views. And here we are going to create a new one. Um, the first thing that we need to do, we need to import. We need to import a decorator. This is called um, logging require. And oops. So um, this uh, decorator basically will just uh, make the view available for just the users that are already logging. And like here in the documentation, you can read more about that. And then, um, yeah, this is the decorator that's yes, here. Actually, we need this one. Let's just copy this import it and okay this is we need this and also we need the se uh, session um, uh, yes this one update session has as you can see here this function takes the current request and then update the user object from which a new session has will be derived and update the session as appropriately. So what basically is that when you when you change your password, it will just log out all the all the sessions that are like open, you know, uh, with the with the hash. Um, let's just open. Let's just get this one to save. And yep. Um, we have the, we need these two, we have it, and then just start getting, then just, let's create a, this function, let's call it password change, take a request, and the user, we need to get the user, And we need to, if, oops, oops, this is a pause, 
we want to load the form. Oh, actually, we need to import the form too. Um, it's the form there. Let me see how we call it. Change password form. Uh, it's here. Okay, yeah. Don't forget to import your your form. Your form. And then, oops. Let's go here. Do the views. And then, like here, we need to load the form. Change password form. And then if form is valid if the form is valid let's just uh, the new password um let's get first let's get the the password the new password boom we need to get the, the new password from the from the form, and then we need to um, call the fu the function like set password. This is from the user, and then we just pass this new password. We just pass the new password here. First, we get the password, and then we pass it here. If th if the form is valid, um, and then we just save. And oh, also we need to we need to call this and the re we need to pass the request and the user. Boom. Um. No, let's re oops. Let's return. Let's redirect the user to the. Um, index by the meantime because we we actually want to like not uh, let know the user that we, that they changed the password successfully but here um script else just just chose the form oops and then We need to specify, yep, inst, yep, instance. Okay, good. Um, let's just create a counter. Then we just pass the form. I like to do that. Some people don't just pass it like here, but I like to do it like this way. So it doesn't matter. If you just pass the, the the value here in the in the return. Oops, request, and then our our template change password HTML, and then the context. Okay. Um. Yep. I think that we have it. Let's just save that. And then we just need to go to the URLs um, to set this. Let's import the password change view. Boom. And then path change password. Just pass the view and then just name it change. Oops, change password. Um, yep, spell here change password. Okay, um, let's just try that. Let me see if we have any error. Nope, let's try. So we need to go to account because that's where we define the the 
the URLs here, remember? Um, oops, it's here. Um, here, remember account, as you can see. And then change password. error here let's just check it's in the views um, instance hmm. let's check Oh, haha. <laughs> yes, um, we we forgot something here. So we forgot the decorator. Um, as we said before, we need to activate this decorator to this, uh, do this view. So in order to do that, we just put add login required because it will throw us like this error, like anonymous user, because we we are now logging in the in the we are not logging the, the website. So if we go here, actually first let's we need to log in. Mm, this is kind of loud that this happened. So now we can just go password change. No, oh, this doesn't exist. Oh he <laughs> he change password okay here we have the form um, I let's try it um, let's put the let's try it with a fake password and then like a new one okay and I put the old password like wrong intentionally and as you can see old password do not match let me put the what's going on with this Oops. okay okay now I have the correct password let me put one here and then let's put it wrong here. I have it run in this one. Password do not match. Yep, it's working, but let's try. Okay, now they are correct. I'm going to just put a short one. Boom. Name form is not defined. Uh, I'm not getting an error here. Ah, uh, it's form. It's form. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oops. What? For net claim data. Yes, it should be. Oops. No, it's clean data. Sorry, I got confused with the form here. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry. This yeah, this happens. Okay. So we uh, make sure that you have the Form clean data like that, um, and form no forms, and then we just remove the get clean and it's, it's I put it like backward. Um, let me go here and then 
should just type the old password. Change password. Boom. And we just changed the password. Um, let's try. Oh, we need to fix that. Let's fix it now. Oh, so we are going to when the user is like log out, it will is taking us to the admin. We don't want that. Let's just go to our settings and then let's go down here and then like change this and then like put a log out reader tool index. Boom. Because we want the user to go to the index, not to the admin. Okay, let's try. Let's log in with a new password. This is a new password. This is the old password that I'm typing. This is username or password in our match. Let's just type the, the, wrong, the right one. Oops. I think I forgot. Okay. Yes, it's working. Um, let's just change the password again. And then put a new one. Boom. But uh, we are redirecting the user to the index um, and we don't want that. We want to let know the user that the password has been changed. Let's just create a new file here and let's call it um, change password done HTML. So when the password I mean, like when you, when the user successfully like change the password, it will take the user here. So, um, so actually, let's just copy this one. Let's just copy all of these. We have like a, <laughs> a little template for that. Good. Uh, this is this is so wrong. <laughs> this is so wrong. Don't do that. I'm just doing this just because the the design here is not important at this moment. Um, but yeah, so yeah, don't, don't do that. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's just, yeah, let's just delete that. And then put a message here. Your password has been successfully changed. Okay, um, let's just close that and then like, let's create, we need to create a new view here. Um, let's call it, um, I don't know, password change done. Uh, this return um, just a render then protect the request just uh, just like we did with the with this one okay just like that just return the just like it's the static uh, website right change password done okay um yeah i think that we have everything okay let's go oh no we don't have everything we forgot the url um we forgot the url and stuff okay just copy this one. Just put done. Done. Let's save that. And then like in our views here, 
we need to specify that it will go to our new view. Okay, let's try now. Um, oh, we have an error, I think. Oh, yes. Um, sorry, we forgot a comma here. Because we created a new one, we need to put a comma. Okay, it's working great. Okay, okay, let's see. Count, change password. Let's put a new one. Boom, your password has been successfully changed. We can just log out. Uh, as, as you can see, we fixed the thing when we when we log in and with our users, and then we will log out. It will take it to the index. Great, great. Um, yeah. Um, everything's working perfectly for change password. And in the next video, we're going to work. We're going to continue. We're going to work with the email. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.